while we're staying at mom and dad's it's so great we have 50 amp hookups we have water we have a gravel pad but we don't have sewer which means scott has to tote our poo in one of those little poo toting bins dump it in to the murky abyss of disgustiness below and then do it all over like three more times every time we empty the black tank. I'm Tammy and this is my husband Scott. We are two artists who when faced with mounting health challenges decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and moved into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV and along with Gracie and Jasper, we are crossing the country in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through full-time RV life. And till further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. Christmas is coming early for Scott this year. Guess what's under the tree? His very own RV macerator poo pump. That's right, his very own poo pump. Now don't start judging me. I know a macerator pump might not seem like the most romantic gift in the world, but I think he's going to be happy. Babe, close your eyes. What? Your early Christmas present has arrived. It came? It came. Are you ready? Yes. What do you think? Oh, uh, Christmas came early. This is, this is going to be a game changer. We've got the most ideal mooch docking spot here in the world. We've got beautiful views. We're out in the trees. We've got water. We've got 50 amp electric, which my in-laws installed for us, but no sewer. And so up until now, I've been putting it into, what do they call that thing? The port a tote thing, where you gotta pour it in there 11 gallons at a time, not over still. Then you gotta drag it up up the hill. The smell and the feel, it, it just everything I could do to keep from throwing up. <laughs> so this is making our site here full service, isn't it? Yeah. Full, full service oh site. Goodness. Mom and Dad, thank you. They have created an amazing mooch docking spot for us here in Southern Colorado. They even had to cut down some trees so we could fit our rig in. The sewer is about 75 feet away and probably 10 feet higher in elevation than our rig. And so what this pump is going to enable us to do, this thing is essentially a blender that turns your black water into a smoothie and it shoots it through a regular garden hose all the way to the sewer. The whole uh, smoothie bit, maybe not the best analogy, babe. And let's try to figure out how to hook up this pump and make all of Scott's Christmas dreams come true. The uh, pump need to be connected to the trigger assembly. So here's the trigger and this end connects to your 12 volt battery. Now we need to figure out which hole is which because we don't want to shoot it out the wrong one. No, we definitely don't want it shooting out the wrong one. Is that a possibility? So they only gave us about enough wire, about eight feet of wire. It's supposed to be long enough to go from the sewer discharge pipe all the way to the battery compartment and up by the generator, not even close. So I'm going to pull the truck up and we're going to jump this thing right off the truck. I modified some dollar store potato chip bag clips that are made out of metal and turned those into gator clips that hopefully will clip right onto my truck battery and run this thing. We also picked up a clear sewer extender and that way we can see what color is coming out of the discharge pipe out of the RV, which is important. And we can see if stuff's moving. Why is that important that we see the color coming out? Because we want to know when the black water is 
completely flushed and when we're getting clean water through. Man, it's windy out here. We picked up 100 feet of commercial hose. We're gonna run that from the RV up to the clean out, which is about 75 feet away. Gonna go into here. So it seems kind of counterintuitive to be using a clean out to dump into, but father-in-law says it's okay to do it. We're gonna do it. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to need somebody to be on this end telling me that this isn't going all over the place. It, we need to make sure this hose stays in the clean out. Eric, volunteers? You just got volunteered. I just got volunteered. <laughs> Is this going to stink, sir? Most likely it's going to smell pretty bad. Thanks for volunteering, Eric. This is the uh, sending side to the receiving side. Come in. I'm ready, over. Okay, be ready. We got some shit coming your way. Let her rip, sir. <laughs> what happened? I parked right on top of the handy dandy uh, grenade launcher. What's going on down there, sir? We, uh, and when I say we, I mean Scott, ran over part of the new macerator pump we just bought. Over. It's a little tight, but it, we prefer it that way. So one of the things I don't like so much about this rig is we don't have the valves for the gray and black water. We've got push buttons and push buttons aren't a good thing if you're being careless or indiscretionate about your surroundings because it'll come out. We're opening the black water. Receiving end, you're on deck. Be prepared, it is coming your way. Okay, there no show. <laughs> stand over here, don't stand. Don't stand right where that thing's coming out. Let us know when you receive the inventory. I think we're gonna need a volunteer to do a siphon with your mouth. Oh, that's Tammy. I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. There's a kink in the hose, Tammy. Oh yeah, here's the... And I smell it now. We're in business. It's just a waiting game. We wait for the unmentionables to turn from brown to clear. That was like magic. That was a lot quicker and easier than I thought. Now we just need to get a 12 volt plug in right by our water station so that we won't have to hook up to batteries and all that nonsense. The in-laws won't let us give them money for electricity and we're using a ton of it, so it's gotta come out in labor. Go into the hot tub. It's freezing out. We're gonna go get warm. Anyone else have a hot tub at their mooch docking spot? This is like a full-blown RV resort now. We got full hookups, we've got hot tub, Mountain view, look at that view. This is this is a good good place to mooch dock. Oh great, now they're never, never gonna leave. leave. Can I push the button this time? I don't smell anything. Didn't you read that book to see how to operate it? Why yeah. do you keep guessing? We're dealing with poop, this isn't a guessing matter. The instructions were horrible. The man reading the instructions might have been in error. We'll, we'll see, so. You're right. I know I'm right. <laughs> Do you wanna read the instructions now? Maybe we should go watch somebody's YouTube video. <laughs> it's kind of like doing a colonoscopy for your RV. Yeah, and with my knee, I just, and my pride, I really can't be dragging the, the uh, sewage up the hill anymore on that toad. And if you too are interested in gifting your loved one a macerator pump, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. Jasper, do you like the new macerator pump? You don't care because you have a litter box that mommy scoops out? Okay, that's cool, that's fair. And there you have it. Just another day in the life of full-time RV or just the little things that make you happy living this lifestyle. The vistas, the views, the macerator pumps. 
Have a good night. We sure appreciate you all, and we're happy to have you on our journey. Are you happy to have him on the journey? Say hi. Say hi. Yeah.